you still need help with the easter egg leave your xbox gamer tag in the comment section and i'll see if i can help you out with the attack of the radioactive thing easter egg all right back to the video Hello dudes and dudettes what are like, my name is Hippo and I'm going to give you a short, simple explanation on how to do the chemistry step here in Attack of the Radioactive Thing. Since a lot of people are still playing Infinite Warfare mainly for the zombies and there are still people who need help with this map, I, I think it will be a good thing to try and help you guys out with this step that has a lot of people scratching their heads. Without further ado, I'll shut up and let's get cracking. It's time to cook. Now this is only going to be covering the chemistry aspect of the easter egg. If you need a full guide, let me know and I'll make a full guide. But once you get yourself the key, once you do the little Build-A-Bear zombie, you'll need to craft a chemistry station. And I'm going to show you the three parts right now. The first part you can pick up is going to be right here on top of the bench near the fire pit and meal munchies. Once you pick it up, go ahead and make your way over to the little other side of the beach near this path and you can go to another bench near a wall debris and pick up the second part for the chemistry station. Once you pick up over that, go all the way all the way to the power where you'll turn on power obviously and go to the little store and sitting right next to the door you'll find another piece just sitting right there on top of the sofa. Alright, this one I'm going to be in depth for. So this is how we're gonna do it. Now we're going to do some multiplication, just one. What you see on your screen next to Elvira where you talk to her and such is going to be a screen that's going to have a bunch of colors. All that colors is going to represent a number. And that number is all going to be multiplied by the number that's going to be right next to the reception right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you all the number locations where you have to multiply with that number. Make it all the way to the RV park. And there's two ways you can look at this. One is to cheese it by, with a sniper rifle, or just having good eyesight. Jump out here, and you can actually look on the fridge and see the number. And if that doesn't work, then go ahead and assemble pack punch. If you need to get a pack punch, let me know. But just assemble pack punch, where you can also pick up the head for the first step, but also view the number instantly. The next part is going to be under the bridge, right on the beach, where, fun fact, boss fight starts. The number will be up there, and go ahead and jot it down if you need to, or just have a good memory. Once you get that number, go ahead and make your way to the gas station where on the door, where it's also where you assemble the nuke, you'll find another number labeled right there. Once you get that number, go ahead and obviously jot it down, yada yada yada, and you want to make your way to the store where I explain how to find the last piece for the chemistry station. Right above it is also going to be the last number we're going to be working with. Once you have all your numbers, go ahead and make your way to the Avira studio. And on the back, you can change colors. So if you want to have an epileptic trip, there you go. But you, what you want to do is, depending on what number you got, you want to view on all of them in different colors to find a outlier. Now, this is just a simple game of process of illumination. Whenever you find a color on a number, you're going to realize that the equal sign will change on some of them. In this case, for under the bridge, for me, the 11 was a bad number because on other colors, they were showed a good, but what you want to do is find the one that goes for all colors. So if you find one color number that has the line on the equal sign, that is considered as a bad. Once you find your colored number, what you want to do is go back to the number if you haven't even um, remembered it, and you want to multiply it. So for me, in this case, my number that I got is 9, and my multiply number is 2. So what you want to do is do 2 times 9, and that will be 18. Go back to the TV, and when you'll find your number, you'll find something that's less than, in between, or greater, and you'll find that color. Once you have your number that you got from the color, go ahead and you want to try and find six atomic tables. There's going to be one atomic table behind Elvira Studio where Bang Bangs will be located. There will be another one here over at Spawn. Go ahead and try and memorize it if you need to. Take a screenshot, whatever. The next location is going to be over here in the, I guess you can say the outdoor area that's behind the store, which is also nearby power. The next location is going to be all the way over here where you will actually assemble the nuke. So go ahead and remember there. And it'll also be next to the equation, which I will elaborate here in a little bit. 
The next location is going to be down in the beach, where on the far bottom left side, you'll see one right there just resting right next to the radioactive beast known as Krogzilla and the water itself. And then finally, the last location for this atomic table is going to be resting right here near the RV park um, near the entrance. So as you have all the tables recorded, let's go ahead and elaborate. So, you need to make sure you have all these tables recorded within the color that you have, for, that you got with your number. Because, with a different color, the tables will actually change the numbers on them. And you want to make sure you have it on the number color that you got. In this case for me, I got it for blue, so I did record all the tables in blue. So, if you haven't done that, make sure you go back to all the locations and make sure you have it under that color. Now, now that we have everything, let's go ahead and get the main thing. So what you want to do is try and get a high rounds, get some kills, until one of them with a backpack will drop a battery. Once you find a battery, you want to go ahead and pick it up. And with this battery, you'll and by the way, you can only carry one. You can now take it to a radio. Now there are two radios that we can interact with. One is going to be right here in the reception area near the pool. And there'll be one resting right here on the sofa, and another one by the porta potty right near power. Now, listen carefully. You really need to listen on this one. Now, each radio is going to have a message we want to hear. There are going to be two radios, and one of them will explain a bunch of chemicals. The other one is going to be explaining what is a good chemical and which one isn't. The one we want to hear is the one where it explains what's a good or a bad chemical. This is the radio right here I'm going to play for you that you don't want to get. Octahydro 2,5-Nitro-3,4,7 Parazosine can be produced by the nitration of hexamine in the presence of ammonium nitrate and acetic acid. This is the radio you do want. I don't think the creation of 2,4-Propane-3,5-Tetranitrates will effectively do the job required. Once you figure out what your chemical is, look back at the, the atomic tables that you managed to record and you, what you want to do is do something called factoring. Simply, where the arrows are pointing, all you have to do is add those two numbers together. In this case, for an example, accelahide. For factoring, all you have to do is add those two numbers on the top that I'm pointing. 6 and 6. Adding them together will equal to 12. Now once you get the hang of adding with factoring, now you can do it with multiple chemicals. So in this case, for example, let's add a glycerol and methylene benzene to the mix. Meth or glycerol is 8 plus 4, which equals to 12, and then methylene benzene is 2 plus 8, which will equal to 10. Adding all of those numbers together for the first line will be 34. Now, once that happens, then we can go ahead and subtract with our color number. So, once you get your color number, say for example, in this case, we'll use the number 9. Whatever it is that you got for your sum total, go ahead and grab the color number and you want to subtract it with it. In this case, 34 minus 9. And together, that will equal to 25. And with that, we're done. We finally got our first chemical number which would be 25, which will then you'll put into the machine next to the nuke and enter the code 25. Now to elaborate more, here's an example that I got in my game where I got to use the chemical terranitrophenol. So in this game that I managed to record, this is the chemical I got, 135 terranitrophenol as I explained earlier. So for this, I had to use the chemicals motor oil, real cleaner, and insert propellant for the first chemical list. Now for this one, I already um, put on screen with the equations that I got. So for motor oil, by doing factoring, it was 6 plus 3, which equal 9, and then so on. Real cleaner was 5 plus 5, which equal 10, and then interpellant was 8 plus 4, which equal 12. Now adding them all together, it equaled up to the amount 30, which then I would subtract with the number, which would be my color number being 9, and adding up with a big total answer of 22 and with that i was able to get done with my very first chemical being for 135 phenol. now the rest is a rinse and repeat and then once you get all of your chemicals added together and obviously subtract your color number you'll be able to craft the chemical needed for the bomb which will then carry you over to the boss fight again rinse and repeat now to give you a helping hand, I went to, out of my way to make some spreadsheets for each chemicals um, listed. 
which are the following. 135 teranitro phenol, 34 dinoxy nitroxymethylpropane, wow, that's a mouthful, octahydro 25 nitro 345 perizocene, also a mouthful, and 3 methylene 24 dinoxy benzene. All these are mouthfuls, but everything you see on the screen is what you will be working with for the chemicals. Listed everything from there. And with that, thank you guys for watching so much. I really do hope that you learned something from this. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if this guide helped you out, I would love if you drop a big thumbs up. Uh, maybe hit the subscribe button if you want to. Uh, if you want to see me do more guides. And to end it all off, if you are also interested or if you haven't really seen it, I'm going to also play the ending cutscene to Attack of the Radioactive Thing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night. Have a good whatever. Hippo out. Anybody want shellfish for dinner? I'm pretty sure I'm never eating shellfish again. Ever. Ugh, you and me both. Uh, I am really feeling the need to get out of this place. A time period. Whatever you want to call it. Maybe off to somewhere with a little more color. Ready when you are, my friend. Ugh! Oh, oh, this is so nasty. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, shit. If you guys thought the zombies were bad, what is it? Some kind of big... Shut up, AJ! Day? What? What did I say? To be continued. Ah!